Hello students, Mr. Armstrong is back, and the topic of today's lesson is irregular verbs. Irregular verbs is something that we have talked about before in previous lessons, mostly involving the verb to be, but there are almost 200 irregular verbs, maybe even more, honestly. There's a lot of irregular verbs in English. And so we're going to talk about them a little bit today. Unfortunately, there's not one or two rules that I can teach you to always know what to do in these irregular situations. You just have to kind of memorize it. Luckily, those of you who have been speaking English for a while have already done a lot of the memorization work. We just need to talk about their existence and maybe a little bit about why they exist. But first, to understand irregular verbs, let's do a quick review on what regular verbs are. Regular verbs are verbs that we just usually add an ending to or leave alone in order to conjugate them to agree with a subject. Mostly what we're going to be talking about is past tense verbs because the irregular verbs are typically past tense or past participle. And for regular verbs, to make it past tense, we usually just add the letters ed to the end of it. For example, the verb to laugh. If we wanted to make it past tense, we would just add an ed to the end of it laughed. Sometimes we might have to repeat the last letter in the verb before we add the ending. For example, to stir. If we're going to add the ending, ed, we have to add another r before we do so. But it's still considered a regular verb. Sometimes also, a verb might end in the letter e. And if it does so, it might seem that you just add a d to the end of it. Or you could think of it as removing the e and then adding ed. But still, this would be considered a regular verb, it's regular because it has that ending. Irregular verbs change the spelling completely and often sound very different. Let's take a look at some irregular verbs now. Irregular verbs don't just add an ending. Their spelling changes and they sound different. For example, the verb to know. It would be incorrect to just add an ending. We wouldn't say Kamal knowed the answer. It doesn't sound right. This is an irregular verb. Instead, we would say, can you guess? Do you know? Kamal knew the answer. We change the O to an E and keep that W at the end. But it's just something that you have to memorize. But chances are, many of you watching this video already have. This is the past tense. What about the past participle of the same verb? We wouldn't say, Kamal has knowed the answer. Instead, it would be, can you guess? Kamal has known the answer. In this irregular example, we add an N after the W. Why? English. Most of these irregular verbs go back to very old rules when the language was different. We have something called Old English, which has a lot more Germanic roots. And these are just ones that got left over because language is living and people just kept using them. Another example, the verb to leave. We wouldn't say Molly leaved the game. We would say Molly left the game in the past tense. Or if we were using past participle, Molly has left the game. The rules are totally different, right? It's irregular. We might notice some patterns in these irregular verbs, but there's no one rule that works for all of them. You just have to memorize them. To shake. You wouldn't say the dog shaked the toy. The dog shook the toy. Once again, the spelling changes completely. Or in the past tense, we have a totally different word. The dog has shaken the toy. Unfortunately, irregular by definition means there's not a rule that works with all of them. And since there's almost 200 of them, I don't have time to go through all of them in this video, but there are plenty of lists on the internet uh, and in grammar books near you. But that is what irregular verbs are. I wanted you to know, and now hopefully you do. There's lots of resources on the internet you can check out if you want to know more about the history of these verbs, why we have them, why we have so many of them in English, and all of the different examples of them. If you have any questions, you can post them in the chat below. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll teach you again very soon. Bye-bye.